Hello, this is CHM 304 and 403 Electrochemistry Workshop Lecture on Dabai Length Calculation. I'm Dr. Andrew Tehemi Chowa, a lecturer of physical chemistry in the Department of Chemistry, Bernu State University, Makadi, Nigeria. This lecture is meant for my third and fourth year chemistry students here at the Bernu State University, as well as other students worldwide who are interested in the questions I tackle on this channel. If you have any questions or any comments, you can send those to me through my university email address or my Google email address. Alternatively, you can leave those as comments in the comment section of this video on YouTube, and I'll do my best to respond. Today's lecture is on calculation of the by length in salt solutions. Therefore, after the lecture, I expect you to be able to calculate the the by length in salt solutions. Our first question says calculate the Debye length in 25 mol per dm cube aqueous solutions, which are at 25 degrees C of sodium chloride and calcium chloride. To solve this problem, we are going to write the formula for Debye length, uh, which is denoted by cap inverse. Then we are going to identify all the parameters in the formula, along with their respective numerical values. Then we are going to substitute the numerical values of all the parameters into the formula and then evaluate the resultant expression to obtain Kappa inverse. So the formula for calculating the by length Kappa inverse is as given. And we can rewrite this formula as uh, in this manner. We take this, uh, we isolate these bits of the formula and then this other bit so that we evaluate this separately and evaluate this separately and put them together. The symbols in this uh, formula um, represents this, uh, represents the dielectric constant of the solvent, water in this case, which has this value. And this is the permittivity of free space and this is the value. This is the gas constant R, and it has this value. This is temperature, which is given uh, in degrees centigrade, which we can rewrite in Kelvin uh, by adding 273.15 to 25. That gives 298.15 Kelvin. F is the Faraday's constant, which has this value. Um, Z sub so I is to charge on an ion, and C sub so I into phi equal to zero is the concentration of an ion at the point where the potential is zero. That's the bulk concentration. So for sodium chloride, what we've got is sodium chloride dissociates completely into solution um, as sodium ions and chloride ions. So a mole of sodium chloride gives one mole of uh, sodium ion and one mole of chloride ion. So the concentration of sodium chloride is going to be the same as the concentration of sodium ion and chloride ion in the solution. So to obtain um, this bit of the Debye length formula, we take the square of the charge on the sodium ion and multiply to the concentration of sodium ion. We add that to the square of the charge, chloride ion, times the um, concentration of the chloride ion. So for uh, sodium ion, charge is plus one, the concentration is 25 mole per dm cube, which is the same as the concentration of sodium chloride in the solution, which we can write as 25 times 10 to the power of 3 mole per meter cube. Uh, we can do the same thing for the chloride ion. The chloride ion has charge of negative 1. The concentration is 25 mole per dm cube, just like the sodium chloride. Um, concentration in solution and this is equal to 25 times 10 to the power of 3 mole per meter cube. 
when we substitute all of this into the formula, which is that, we obtain this as the resultant expression. And this evaluates to 50 times 10 to the power of 3 mole per a meter cube. Next, we take the square root of this, and that gives 223.61 mole to the power of half a meter to the power of negative uh, 3 all over 2. Now we substitute the other parameters into this uh, bit of the formula, and that gives us this as the resultant expression. This evaluates to 1.325 times 10 to the power of negative 8 mole to the power of half meter to the power of half. So when we put those together, we have um, this as the resultant expression, which evaluates to uh, 5.925 times 10 to the power of negative 11 meter which is approximately 0 0.593 angstrom as the Debye length for sodium chloride. For calcium chloride, what we have is calcium chloride ionizes completely in aqueous solutions to calcium ions and chloride ions. However, uh, one mole of calcium chloride gives one mole of um, calcium ion and two moles of the chloride ion. So the concentration of chloride ions in the solution is going to be two times the concentration of calcium in chloride in the solution, while the concentration of calcium ion is going to be the same as that of calcium chloride. So in the same way, we we'll take the square of the charge on the calcium ion and multiply it to its concentration and add to the product of the square of the charge on the chloride ion times the concentration of the chloride ions. We obtain this from this. This is uh, charge plus two, uh, referring to that. And the concentration is 25 mole per dn cube, uh, which is um, uh, equivalent to 25 times 10 to the power of 3 mole per meter cube. Um, for the chloride ion, we have negative 1 as the charge, referring to that, and the concentration to be 2 times um, the concentration of the, um, the calcium chloride in solution. That gives 2 times uh, 25 mole per dm cube. Uh, which is equal to 50 times 10 to the power of 3 mole per meter cube. When we substitute all of those into this formula, we obtain this as the resultant expression, which evaluates to 1.5 times 10 to the power of 5 mole per meter cube. When we take the square root of this, we obtain 387.29 mole to the power of half times meter to the power of negative 3 all over 2. We remember that this bit of the expression gives this. So when we put those together, we obtain this as the resultant expression, which evaluates to 3.421 times 10 to the power of negative 11, which is approximately 0.34 angstrom. So here is our first self-test question. It says human blood plasma, that is blood without red and white blood cells, and without trophocytes, contains 143 millimolar sodium ion, 5 millimolar potassium ion, 2.5 millimolar calcium ion, 1 millimolar magnesium ion, 103 millimolar chloride ion, 27 millimolar bicarbonate ion, 1 millimolar 
diphosphate ion and 0.5 millimolar sulfate ion. What is the dabai length of the blood plasma? If it is at 36 degrees C, where the dielectric constant of water is 74.5. The answer is 0.782 nanometer. Our second question says, what is the Debye length in an aqueous binary solution at 25 degrees C? Prepared by mixing 40 cm cube of 10 millimolar magnesium sulfate and 10 cm cube of 20 millimolar calcium chloride solutions. Our strategy is very simple. The salt solutions will dilute themselves upon mixing. Therefore, we first need to find the concentrations of the salt solutions, and by extension, the concentration of the ions after mixing. We then write the formula for Debye length and identify all the parameters in the formula along with their respective numerical values. Finally, we are going to substitute the numerical values of all the parameters into the Debye length formula and evaluate the resultant expression to obtain copper inverse. So using the dilution formula C1, V1 equal to C2, V2, where C1 is the initial concentration, C2 final concentration, V1 initial volume, V2 final volume. Upon mixing 40 cm cube of 10 millimolar magnesium sulfate in 10 cm cube of 20 millimolar calcium chloride. What we're going to have is for magnesium sulfate, the initial concentration is 10 millimolar. The final concentration, we don't know. The initial volume is 40 cm cube. The final volume is 40 plus 10. Uh, cm cube, which gives 50 cm cube. 40 cm cube from uh, magnesium sulfate solution and 10 cm cube from calcium chloride solution. So when we substitute all of those into the formula for dilution, we obtain this as the resultant expression, which evaluates to 8 millimolar magnesium sulfate. Uh, magnesium sulfate dissociates completely in solution as magnesium ions and sulfate ions. And one mole of magnesium sulfate gives one mole of magnesium ion, and one mole of sulfate ion. So the concentration of magnesium sulfate is going to be the same as the concentration of the magnesium ion and the sulfate ion. So the charge of magnesium ion is plus two, its corresponding concentration is 8 millimole per dm cube. 8 millimolar, the same as 8 millimole per dm cube. And we can write this in terms of meter cube as 8 mole per meter cube. For sulfate ion, we have that to be negative 2 as the charge. The corresponding concentration is 8 millimole per dm cube, uh, which is 8 mole per meter cube. So for calcium chloride, the initial concentration is 20 millimolar. Final concentration, we don't know. Initial volume, 10 cm cube. Final volume, 50 cm cube, just like in the previous case. We substitute all of those into the dilution formula, and that gives us this as the resultant expression, and this evaluates to 4 millimolar calcium chloride. Uh, just like what we've seen in the first question, calcium chloride ionizes into calcium ions and chloride ions. For a mole of calcium chloride gives one mole of calcium ion and two moles of chloride ion. So the concentration of chloride ion in this our solution is going to be two times the concentration of calcium chloride in solution, while that for the calcium ion is going to be the same as that for the calcium chloride uh, salt in solution. So calcium chloride, um, for calcium, we have uh, the charge to be plus two, the corresponding concentration to be four millimole per meter cube, per dm cube, which translates to 4 
mole per meter cube. Similarly, we have for the chloride ion, um, the charge negative one, referring to this, and the concentration to be two times this, which is two times for uh, uh, mole millimole per dm cube, which is equal to eight mole per meter cube. When we put all of those together, we have this as the resultant expression, which evaluates to eight eight mole per meter cube, and the square root gives 9.381 mole to the power of half and meter to the power of negative three all over two. When we put those together, we obtain this, which evaluates to 1.412 times 10 to the power of negative nine meter, which is approximately 1.41 nanometer. Our second self-test question says, what is the Debye length in an aqueous solution at 25 degrees C prepared by mixing 100 milliliters of 20 millimolar aluminum chloride, 200 milliliters of 8 molar uh, sodium sulfate, and 0.5 liter of 10 millimolar copper sulfate solutions. The answer is approximately one angstrom. If you find this video helpful, I encourage you to subscribe to my YouTube channel, ring the bell so that when I upload new videos, you will be notified, like, comment, and share. Thanks for watching. The link to the PDF version of this video can be found in the video description on YouTube. If you have any questions or any comments, you can send those to me using my university email address or my Google email address. Alternatively, you can leave those in the comment section of this video on YouTube and I'll do my very best to respond. Bye now.